Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to get clients or maybe I should say what helped me get clients and you know kind of get to where I am right now. Um, there are small little tips but they should help you a bit along the way to kind of you know make the transition from being an amateur to being a professional. I'm not going to talk as much about equipment, I mean you know it's great to have a good camera, it's great to have great lenses but I think down the line it's your presence and what you do about your career is what's going to make it or break it and not the equipment you use. So I'm going to start with saying that the best thing you can do for yourself is get in with model agencies. Um, I'm only saying that because I think that it can really make a difference for your photos. So if you're, let's say, an amateur and you don't really have contacts and you only take photos with your friends, um, this is really, really a great step for you because having a professional model really changes the game. Find out what local model agencies are around you and, you know, just send them a couple of photos and be like, you know, this is what I do. This I would love to test with some of your models. Build that relationship. Nothing happens overnight. Nobody is just going to give you their top model and be like, yeah, you know, whatever, just shoot with her. It's a slow process. Start with new faces, you know, message the agency and say, um, I want to shoot your new faces. This is the kind of work I do. You know, I can do natural light portraits for them because that's the kind of stuff that new faces need. And I think once you produce nice work for the new faces, the agency will never have a problem in giving you models for your own project. Second thing is finding a team of people that you want to work with. So a uh, makeup artist, hairstylist, um, a stylist, um, it's very important, especially if you want to get into fashion and you want to shoot fashion editorials. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be somebody who is, has a super massive portfolio and is super amazing. Start with people who are on the same level as you, who need the same kind of images in their portfolio. Because if you start with people that are, you know, much more experienced and they have much more stuff in your book, in their book it's just going to put much more stress on you when you do the photos and you know if something goes wrong it's just going to be a terrifying experience <laughs> find out what you're interested in because i think you know there is fashion photography there is beauty photography there is portrait photography and you can all get work in in any of those um it's just a matter of building the right book for yourself so if you let's say try to take fashion photos and you really enjoy them then just keep doing that keep building that book and just you know building the fashion book because that's what's going to get your clients down the way, uh, down the road if you feel like you're better doing beauty then you know build your book towards beauty because if you let's say build a fashion book and then you want to try and give uh, beauty clients it's not going to work because they want to see samples of your work so um, just remember about that your career as a photographer is going to be built on a lot of free projects that then later give you the paid jobs because when clients look at your book they mainly want to see the projects that you do for yourself as a photographer they're not as interested about looking you know at other client work because client work is great but it's usually not as creative as they would like it to be so they will look at your editorials they will look at your tests um, and that's what's going to give you the work um, the other thing is you have to always be careful with you know deciding when it's worth to work, work for free or work for a little money and when it's not worth it and I think the only thing I'll say is that if you feel that the opportunity is absolutely amazing and you know it's it's an opportunity of a lifetime then maybe it's worth to work for less money or you know for credit even I don't recommend it but you know we've all been there at some stage especially when you start out um, as you get kind of further down it's kind of easier to just like sort out and be like no this is what I'm this is what I'm getting paid and that's it. But I think when you start off, sometimes it's worth to take those chances and produce killer work and just add it to your portfolio and be like, this is what I do, I'm awesome, hire me. Time <laughs> do invest your time in quality projects. Um, I find that when I started doing photography, I was invested in so many different uh, projects and I was doing so many different things but I wasn't truly 
happy with any of that because I wasn't putting the right planning into it and I wasn't putting the right effort into it. I was just like, yeah, let's do a shoot next week and I just did it and then I was like, mm, yeah, okay, but it wasn't really thought true. And then I find as I went along in my career, I started thinking more and more about what I want to do because I find, you know, it takes more and more time for you to invest yourself into those free projects that don't really pay. So just make sure that what you do is good. It's good to build a strong book, but it's important to invest in the quality projects as well because down the line, you do want the strongest projects in your portfolio. You don't want just any photos. Once you think you have some good quality tests done, or maybe you know you try to do a little fashion editorial, um, always uh, try and submit it to some sort of a magazine, um, maybe like a local magazine or even local newspaper. The Samsas have those inserts, like insert magazines, or you know try an online magazine um, because it always adds to your profile if you get published. You know sometimes. It's not going to get paid and even if it is it's very little um you know in general editorial doesn't pay a lot but being able to be published um gives so much to your image so just work on that work towards submitting to magazines work to, uh, towards you know submitting to to anywhere you can even if somebody publishes your images on the website it's always great it always adds to your profile so if you have your team sorted try and organize tests and include local designers and businesses in it if possible. So let's say you have a shop that you like that is next to you, um, next to your house, and they have nice clothing. Just go up to them, you know, ask, uh, you know, ask for contact details. Say that you're doing a shoot. Maybe send a sample of your portfolio, and this way, um, you know, you're making yourself known. You're you're marking yourself on their little map. Um, saying that you're there and then you know if they do like your work nobody says that they're not going to hire you for a lookbook or photo shoot or um, whatever so this is definitely one of the things that you can do um, now when you do the shoot and let's say the shoot is very strong it's always worth trying to submit it to magazines even if you're not commissioned that's okay and you know the stuff might not be um, greatly paid but it does give you a lot of exposure and unfortunately you know exposure is key in this kind of sense so don't be afraid to give your work to those kind of magazines never pay a magazine to publish your work because that's a different story but um but definitely especially at the beginning it's worth giving your stuff for not that much money um but in return you know kind of building your so you, your presence basically now another thing that's very important is building your social media presence um and I find that, you know, the earlier you get into the Instagram and Facebook and all the other social media, the better because um, the more consistent you are with your posting, the bigger chance of uh, the bigger amount of people seeing it. Um, also, what's important, if you get to work with different people, if you tag them in the photos, their friends usually see it. So it kind of expands your social circle as well. So that's one of the really, really good things um, to kind of try and build your name as a photographer is just working with a lot of different people, a lot of different models, and um, because the, you know they all have friends. Friends have friends, and you know sometimes you get a recommendation from a friend of a model who recommended you three months ago, and they decided to give you a call. So this is definitely one of the things that are really really important. Uh, another thing is building your website. Um, obviously, you know you don't have to go the full professional route because I know it's very expensive. You can go for websites like Wix or um, Squarespace or uh, one of those. There is a good bunch of them, um, and you can just create your simple portfolio. You know, you can you can have your printed portfolio, which is great. You know, to to go and see clients, but I think. A web portfolio is a good start. So just put in your strongest projects. Be very selective. Um, don't put in everything that you shot. Just put in stuff that you're really, really happy with and that you're proud of and that you wouldn't mind showing people and so on. Okay, and finally, um, I think one of the most important points is to send your portfolio to potential clients. So try and find local magazines, um, try and find local designers, get their contact email and just, you know, introduce yourself, um, send your work, um, you know, say, hey, this is me, this is my work. And, you know, there's a chance that they are going to love your work and there's a chance that they are going to want to work with you. But I think main thing in general um, is to be confident in your work, 
knowing what you're worth, building a strong book that is based on what you want to do in the future. As I said, if you want to do fashion, build a fashion book. If you want to do beauty, build a beauty book. Expose yourself to as many people as possible. Um, you know, create social media presence that is constant. You know, don't skip days, don't be regular. Try and post something every day. Try and keep it consistent. I think the best thing you can do for yourself is stay consistent. Finally, you know, expose yourself to clients. Um, show your, show them your book. Show them you're worth it. You know, I think also it's kind of um, important to understand that, especially when you're starting out and you don't have a big client list. Unfortunately, you will get paid less, and you know, sometimes people will abuse the fact that you're new. So just stand your ground, know your worth, but also. Be aware that it's very, very important to build your book first and then start getting paid good money, basically. Also, don't be afraid to ask for advice. Um, if you know any photographers that work in your in, the, uh, you know, in your area, in your country, and you really love their work and you, know, you feel like you need some little extra help, ask them. The chance is they're going to be lovely and they're actually going to help you. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try and um, answer them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to hear from you what you want me to do next.